everyone, we're going to evaluate the integral sine of 2x divided by 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. The first thing I want to do is just go ahead and rewrite this as, uh, I'm going to expand my double angle here as 2 sine theta cosine theta. I'm also going to pull the 2 out here. So this is going to be sine or x cosine x divided by 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. Now that I do that, I can use u substitution. This is going to be like my 2 times my integral. So I'll let that be equal to 2 times my integral. All right. Given that, I'm going to let u equal um, cosine x. So derivative of u equals negative sine x dx. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and negate everything and put this negative and make this positive. So now I can use my substitution. I'm going to write this as um, sine dx is negative du. So this is going to, I'm going to put the, this is the 2 here. So 2 and I have uh, u divided by 1 plus uh, u squared. And then du is negative du. So I'm just going to put du here and put the negative in front. All right. So now that's what we have. This is our little thing we have. All right. Now let's go ahead and integrate this. This is going to equal negative 2 times, and you're going to uh, look at this denominator. This is ln of 1 plus u squared. All right, and then you have to put this 1 half in front. And think about if you integrate, let's look at this again. If you integrate this, or uh, differentiate this, you're going to get 1 divided by 1 plus u squared times the derivative of this is t, uh, 2u. So we're including the u, but we have to put the 1 half here. Um, so that gets rid of this 2. And then you have your plus c. All right. Now what's going to happen here is the 2's cancel, and you're going to get negative, And we have to substitute back in our u. So when we do that, we're going to get negative ln of 1 plus cosine uh, squared of x plus c. And that's completely expanded. And that would be your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.